going faster. <laughs> you were supposed to be this colossus. You were this great legendary thing, and yet he gains. <laughs> well, I'm carrying three people, and he's only got himself. I do not accept excuses. I'm just going to have to find myself a new giant. That's all. What's in that for you? Can I make it clear that your job is at stake? <laughs> He got very good arms. He didn't fall? Inconceivable! You keep using that word. What do I think it means? What do you think it means? <laughs> oh my god, he's climbing! Whoever he is, he's obviously seen us with the princess and must therefore die. You, carry her. We'll head straight for the Guild of Frontier. Catch up with us when he's dead. If he falls, fine. If not, the sword. I want to do him left handed. You know what a hurry we're in. Well, it's the only way I can be satisfied. I use my right over to Whitley. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's your way. Be careful. People in masks cannot be trusted. I'm waiting. <laughs> I had 
admit it. You're better than I am. Then why are you smiling? Because I know something you do not know. What is that? I am not offended. <laughs>
down to me? Let this be explained. There's nothing to explain. You were trying to kidnap what I rightfully stolen. <laughs> Perhaps an arrangement can be reached. There will be no arrangement. And you're killing her. If there can be no arrangement, then you're on an impasse. I'm afraid so. I can't compete with you physically, and you're no match for my brains. You're that smart. Let me put it this way. Have you ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. <laughs> really? Well, in that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess. To the death. I accept. Very well. For the what? It helps. Do not touch. I smell nothing. You do not smell. It's called iodine powder. It's odorless, tasteless, and dissolves instantly in liquid. It is among the most deadly poisons known to man. Here we are. Battle of Wits has begun. It ends when you choose who drinks, we find out who is right, and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who put the poison into his own goblet, or his enemies? No, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet, because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I'm not a great fool, so I could clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it. So I could clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You made your decision, then. Not remotely. <laughs> because IOK comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely riddled with criminals. And criminals are used to having people not trust them, as you are not trusted by me. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dazzling interest. Wait till I get going. Where was I? Australia. Yes, Australia. <laughs> and you must have suspected I would have known the powder, the powder's origin, so I could clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. You would like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison into your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you've studied. And in studying, you must have learned that man is mortal. So you would have put the poison as far from you as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked. You've given everything away. I know where the poison is. Then make your choice. I will. And I choose. What in the world could that be? What? Where? <laughs> <laughs> well, I swore I saw something. No matter. What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. <laughs> you guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched the glasses when your back was turned, you fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia. But only slightly less well known is this. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you mean? 
I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. That was a warning, Heinz. Next time my hand flies its own accord. For where I come from, there are penalties when a woman lies. Okay. I bet my life on it. And there are the princess's footprints. She is alive, or was an hour ago. If she is otherwise when I find her, I shall be very put out. <laughs> That same hour, did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mocked me once, never do it again! I died that day! <laughs> <laughs> you can die too for all I care! As you wish! He must have seen us closing in, which might account for his panicking air. Unless I'm wrong, and I am never wrong, they're headed dead into the fire swamp. <laughs> certainly does keep you on your toes. This will all soon be a happy memory, because Robert's ship revenge is anchored in the far end. And I, as you know, am Robert. 
But how is that possible? Since he's been brought in these 20 years and you only left me five years ago. I myself am often surprised at life's little quirks. You see, what I told you before about saying please was true. It intrigued Robert, as did my descriptions of your beauty. Finally, Robert decided something. He said, all right, Wesley, I never had a ballet. You're going to try it for tonight. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. Two years, he said that. Good night, Wesley. Good work. Sleep well. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. It was a fine time for me. I was learning to fence, to fight, anything anyone could teach me. And Robert and I eventually became friends. And it happened. What? Go on. Well, Robert was paid well so rich, he wanted to be tired. And so he took me to his cabin and told me a secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Marks, he said. My name is Ryan. I inherited from the previous Dread Pirate Marks, just as you will inherit it from me. The man I inherited it from was not the real Dread Pirate Marks either. His name is Cumberbund. The real Robert has been retired for years, living like a king in Patagonia. Then he explained to me that the name was the important thing to inspire necessary fear. You see, no one would surrender to the Dread Pirate Wesley. So we sailed aboard. He sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while, his first mate. All the time calling me Roberts. Once the crew believed, he left the ship, and I've been Roberts ever since. Except now, that we're together, I shall retire, and hand the name over to someone else. Is everything clear to you? <laughs> what is that? Oh, we'll never survive. We may as well die here. No, no, we have already succeeded. I mean, what are the three terrors of the fire swamp? Oh. One, the flames burst. No problem. There's <laughs> <laughs> a popping sound preceding me. You can avoid that. Two, a lightning set. But you were clever enough to discover that pretty light. So in the future, we can avoid that too. <laughs> Only the prince, the count, and 
die, nobody <laughs> So I'm here till I die. Two of <laughs> Then why kill me? The prince and the couch always insist on you being healthy before they you're broken. So it's to be torture then. I can cope with torture. <laughs> you don't believe me? You survived the fire swamp. You must be very brave. No one survives the machine. It's been like that ever since the fire swamp. It's my father's failing health. Of course. <laughs> The king died that very night, before the following dawn, Buttercup and Humperdinck were married. And at noon, she met her subjects again, as their queen. My father's final words were... Hold it. Hold it, Grandpa. You read that wrong. She doesn't marry Humperdinck, she marries Wesley. I'm just sure of it. After all that Wesley did for her, she does America, and that wouldn't be fair. Well, who says life is fair? Where is that right? I'm like, telling you it's fair. I'm telling you, you're messing up the story. Now get it right. You want me to keep going on with this? Yes. All right, then. No more interruptions. And knew she met her subjects again, this time as their queen. My father's final words were, love her as I loved her, and there will be joy. I present to you your queen, Queen Buttercup. Boom! 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 Because you had true love, and you left it for another. Consider me as an alternative to suicide. <laughs> we agree. Your princess is really a winning creature. A trifle simple, perhaps, but her appeal is undeniable. Oh, I know. <laughs> People are quite taken with her. It's odd, but when I hired Messini to have her murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangled her on her wedding night. Uh, once Gilder is blamed. The nation will be outraged. The demand will go to war. Oh, are you coming down into the pit? Wesley's got his strength back and I'm starting him on the machine tonight. Oh, Tyrone, you know how much I love watching you work. I've got my 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and get a little frame for it. I'm swamped. Get some rest. You haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. <laughs> Isn't it? Took me half a lifetime to complete. 
I'm sure you've discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. At present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject. So I want you to be totally honest with me on how the machine makes you feel. This being our first try, we'll start at the lowest setting. force empty, and every inhabitant arrested. Many of the thieves will resist. My regular enforcers will be inadequate. Form a brute squad, then. I want the thieves' force empty before I wed. It won't be easy, sire. Try ruling the world sometime. <laughs> the day of the wedding arrived, and the brute squad had their hands full carrying out Humberdinck's orders. <laughs> Hey-oh! <laughs> Waiting for you this evening! <laughs> you told me to go back to the beginning, so I have. This is where I am, and this is where I'll stay. I will not be moved. Go there. I do not watch. Keep your hold there. The prince gave orders. So did the genie. When the job went wrong, he went back to the beginning, and this, this is where we got the job. So it's the beginning, and I am staying until the genie comes. You, Brute, come here! I am waiting for the city! You sure they are a mini. Hello. It's you! Who? You don't look so good. You don't smell so good either. It's not. I feel fine. Yeah. That's a good thing that we're reunited. so many. I need to see the plan. I have no gift to strategy. But is it is dead. No. Not the city. I need the man in black. The man in black? Good. He bested you with your strength. The greatness. He bested me with steel. He must have outfought the city. Any man who can do that can plan my castle's onslaught any day. Let's go. Where? Find the man in black, obviously. But you don't know where he is. Don't bother me with trifles. After 20 years, at last, my father's soul will be at peace. There will be black in me. <laughs> Rise and report. The thief's forest is empty. Thirty men guard the castle gate. Double it. My princess must be safe. The gate has but one key, and I carry it. 
Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, my dulcet oh, darling. Tonight we may. Tomorrow morning, my men will escort us to Florence Channel, where every ship in my armada awaits to accompany us in our honeymoon. Every ship but your four fastest to me. Every ship but the four you sent. Yes, 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 of course. <laughs> Naturally not those four. <clears throat> your Majesties. <laughs> you never said the ships. Don't bother lying, it doesn't matter. Wesley will come for me anyway. You're a silly girl. Yes, I am a silly girl. But now I can see sooner that you are nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. I would not say such things if I were you. Why not? You can't hurt me. Wesley and I are joined by the bonds of love. You cannot track that. Not with a thousand bloodhounds. You cannot break it. Not with a thousand swords. And when I say you are a coward, that is only because you were the slimiest weakling to ever crawl the face of I would earth. not say such things if I were you! You truly love each other, and so that you might have been truly happy. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybooks say. And so I think no man in a century will suffer as greatly as you will. Oh, not the quick <gasps> Suffering. My heart made that sound when Reuben slaughtered my father. The man in black makes it now. Man in black? His true love is marrying another tonight. Who else has cause for ultimate suffering? Somebody 
you to chase Snake and Sunfire. I might kill whoever you want in America. He's already dead. Yes, huh? Yeah, I'll take a look at Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> Years. Your first story was better. Well, he owes you some money, huh? I'll ask him. He's dead. He can't talk. Ah, look who knows so much. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. There's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead. Now, mostly dead is simply alive. You work with that. All dead. Well, all dead, there's only one thing you could do. Huh? Go through his pockets and look for loose change. <laughs> thing in the world. Except for a nice mutton lettuce, unhealthy mutton lettuce tomato sandwich with a mutton is nice and lean and the is right off the heart. That's not what he said. The statement said, the blade. As we all know, the blade is the bluff. So, you're probably playing cards. It's cheating. Liar! Together. Yes, 
not very long. <laughs> Why were my arms moved? You've been mostly dead all day. <laughs> Did that miracle Max make a pill to bring you back? Who are you? Are we enemies? Why am I on this wall? Where's Buttercup? Let me explain. <laughs> no, that is too much. That is too much. <laughs> Marrying Humber Ding in a little less than half an hour. All we have to do is get in, break up the wedding, steal the princess, make her escape after I kill Count Rugen. Well, that doesn't leave much time for dilly darling. <laughs> you just moved your finger. Wonderful. <laughs> what are our liabilities? This is but one working castle gate, and it is guarded by 60 men. And our assets? Your brains, physics strength, and my steel. That's it. <laughs> Impossible. If I had a monster plan, maybe I could come with something like this. You shook your head. Doesn't that make you happy? <laughs> <laughs> My brains, this steel, and your strength against 60 men. You think a little head jiggle is going to make me happy? I mean, if we only had a wheelbarrow, that would be something. Why didn't we put that wheelbarrow, the albino hair? Where the albino, I think. <laughs> well, why didn't you list that among our assets in the first place? Or I wouldn't give her an ember cloak. Then we cannot help you. This too. <laughs> Where did you get that? At Miracle Max's. It fits so nice, he said I could keep it. <laughs> all right, all right. Come, help me up. Now, I'll need a sword eventually. Why? You can't even lift one. True, true, but that's hardly common knowledge, is it? <laughs> Thank you. Now, there may be some problems once we're inside. I'll say. How do we find the count? And once I do, how do I find you again? And once I find you again, how do we escape? That's a very hard day. <laughs> Sorry. Here you go. What? Hope we win. Should I be? Rides off an hour, I'm told. I do not marry tonight. My Wesley will save me. <laughs> Maui! <laughs> Dark 
Hello. My name is Inigo Mantoya. You kill my father. Prepare to die.
But I'm only lying here because I lack the strength to stand. Then again, perhaps I have the strength after all. Drop your sword. as tight as you can. But it's messy. I thought it was with you. No. In that case. Help you. Why does Hesley need helping? Because it has no strength. I knew it! I knew you were bluffing! I knew you were bluffing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but no. Whatever else happens, I'm going to need your help. Oh, 